Hey guys, welcome to another vertical tutorial. So after last time, I show you guys how we can import a new cluster into uh, vertical management console. Let's see how we can manage that cluster or that database that we just managed to install and actually incorporate in our existing vertical management console. So I'm going to walk you through the steps of how we can use the management console to start and stop an existing infrastructure. So in this case, you can see here we have a secondary cluster which we just imported and this is the cluster definition. You can see the nodes, you can see that the, the database name, you can see how many CPUs have, you can see that they're all, all up and running. The name of it is analytics. Uh, let's go back to the databases in cluster and now check out the database and we can view it. This is the internal view which, is show, which shows you user access sessions and much more to stop it just select and check the stop button option this will initiate a stop database as you can see right now the the cluster it's up and running this won't stop our host this will stop only the database so if you select the database and you press on the buttons or click on the stop button this will stop the database this will not shut down your cluster or the host that your cluster is composed of so press ok to continue and this will initiate stop database sequence this stop database sequence can be done from the admin tool command line can be done using the the admin tool graphical command uh, graphical tool from the from inside the operational system i get the feeling sometimes uh, stopping it using the virtual the management console takes a bit more than uh, stopping it through the admin console but also depends on the size of your database so right now the database it's stopped as we check the cluster all nodes are up and running we don't have any issue with the the operational system Let's refresh that again you can check individual nodes you see a red mark there telling you your database is shut down now to start it it's the same task as before but this time you use the start button you won't see the stop button if the database is started if the database is shut down i mean you're just gonna see the start button it's taking depending on the size of your database catalog it can take quite a while if your database is entirely healthy if you're missing a node or something like that or something happens in between this might take even more also network it's a big um, player in starting a database so we can see that this is a demo dummy database so um, it started pretty quick because it's literally nothing inside it so it right now we can see that it has started 100 percent if you check it via using admin tools console uh, admin tools view we can see that the database has started it's up and running gonna log into it and check out to see what's the status of it view and that's it our start and stop functionality using uh, vertical management console worked as was successful i hope you guys enjoy it write your comment suggestion likes dislikes see you in the next tutorial